Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cabbage Files for Always Sometimes Monsters. This is a game I've been wanting for a while on Steam and I finally was able to pick it up. And it's been something I've been wanting to play for quite some time. Um, I believe it's one of the RPG Maker games that was very widely praised for how it does um, everything as far as um, its use of assets and everything. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so don't you make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here, I make the rules. Here, I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Sayonara, sucker. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Hey, can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? Goddamn schizo, are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go through, go though. I think you ought to take a look at it. Oh, something you ought to take a What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead. I'll wait. That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say get to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story, though. What about the many choices we all make? At the end of it, you can decide what to do, too. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then, the choice is yours. Or we can pull that trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. I'm gonna listen. If you won't put the gu that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself, led by the nose, barely wanting to take part? Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A, good, a man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night, they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? 
You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign uh, someone, uh, someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's going to do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck-up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay. I love you too. Uh, how's your evening going? Oh, Larry. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night all right? Yeah, great party. Just sipping on this bottle of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself I'd only have one tonight. Brandy's a pretty solid choice, though. Uh, maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Larry, thanks for inviting me. It's been too long since we've caught up. Hopefully next time it won't be so long. Well, well, I've got your attention. I've got this bottle of scotch. Want to help? Trying to keep it slow tonight. One drink only. Scotch would hit the spot, though. Eh, but maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. Whoa, Larry. Great apartment. Ah, the wife picked it out. She doing well? We should toast to our to her health. I've brought this rum for you. I'm cutting down to one drink tonight. But rum does wonderful things to me. Oh, shit. All right, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Happy to meet the ball and chain. Fridge. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. I think I just picked the wrong guy. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm, I'm sensing that I'm playing as different people, like. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on us. We gotta go, though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean... I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you'll two be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. Uh... Yeah. Me do 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 do. No, 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 no. Okay, my turn. Best wishes, Clarice and Cabbage. Let me see that for a second. Sounds perfect. All right, Clarice, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Aw, good luck. This is interesting. Like, really interesting. And that was just the intro sequence? Uh, intro sequence? Wow. That was actually really cool. So, Larry, before we toast... Let me guess. You've got a book you wanted to pitch. Just hear me out. No need, Cabbage. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential. But you're rough. I wanted I want to put a good word in with the boss. See if we can get you to get you in advance. That that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. To ambition, to success, to getting rich. I'll toast to the future. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? Yes. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes. I don't know why, but I'm saying yes. And it seems like choices matter in this game, which is really nice. I like the animations, too. I like the, the um, intro sequence, too. I love that name, Laser Destroyer Team. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. 
Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. What time did I get in last night? Shit, looks like my pebble my people sleep monitor got re got reset. I got to get I got to get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month one month circadian master sleep achie sleep achievement. What? Okay. Just let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. Okay. There we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. I took a single step, did that, is it over yet? Look, there's a few minutes on my, under my door. Attention, uh, tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter, and, ur and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with the building management as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, management. Wow, 30 days overdue. Pay up, deadbeat. Jeez, that's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I touch. I. I vouched for you, and my manager. And my manager hates slackers. Well, at least I've got a job for today. Where is it? I uh, know it's in here. Excuse me, Miss T Tui Logger. I think that's how it pronounces. Oh, pardon me, Cabbage. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time in a day, you know. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to do. Heck, I don't know. I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your girlfriend? Things, uh, it didn't work out. It's just me now. That's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Cabbage. I hope you find what you need. Okay, so she's in that apartment. Cheap-ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With these lights off, I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Uh, hold it, you mangy punk. You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap-on, clap-off thing installed last week. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you owe, or am I going to have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about a victim, huh? I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check for my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Look, look. The check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care what old bag you've got to sell that microdick to. You're out of time, gong show. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I told you to hand over that key. So you want me to just give you my key? 
I'll just go ahead. Fine. I think I have it on me somewhere. Come see me when you've got the money and I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. What a fucking asshole. 500 by the end of the day? I can do this. I've already got work at the Phoenix, or I can go help Miss Tewilager. Time to get to work. I really don't want to get evicted. This is already looking like a really interesting game. Hey, Cabbage. How's it going, man? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. Well, I've got a hustle. My landlord, my landlord wants 500 by the end of the day, and I don't know how I'm going to get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off. Or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. So, not very well. Uh, I think I'm going to the Phoenix. Hey, there's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. Should be cleared up in a day or so. Yo, welcome to Dubstown Dick's Palm Plus. Take a look around. Sell that. I got me 25 bucks right there. I've had a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Dark House should be waiting inside. Get off, get to work. Whoa, partner. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, dipshit. Why don't you turn around and get lost? Yeah, I'm working here today. Is Derek off around? You're the asshole that everybody's been waiting on then? Derek off's inside the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. Ah, and the dead rise. You're late, too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper, and I don't know how well it's going to go without her. I know what you mean, man. Now that a day goes by where I don't wonder how different my life would be if she hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look, Clarice left you, what, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty ever for me ever since she left. How long are you going to blame her for everything? Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that I left Viper. I'm Since I left Viper, I'm realizing how, how it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked that kicked this up. I'm just nervous is all. Kind of wish I had some to calm my nerves. Oh well, my burden to bell. Fair. Here's the layout for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly. I've got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Okay, so two big speakers, piano, guitar, mic, bass, and then drum set, and then... Okay.
Alright, so I gotta get this right. Let me see. Can I see my items? Yes, I can. Let's see. I think I'm doing this right. I hope I'm doing this right. Hey, hey, cabbage. Come give me a hug. Viper, what are you doing here? I thought you and Darkoff split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around before his show? Trust me, if I know Darkoff, he's missed me like crazy right now. He probably already told you, hasn't he? No. Hasn't said a word about you, to be frank. I hate to break it to you, but I, don't, but I think you two are Splitsville for good this time. I always knew when you're lying. No, when you're lying, Kevin. I also know my baby is super nervous, which is why I brought him a present. It's a baggie of heroin. Are you out of your goddamned mind? Derek has been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy, and he doesn't need you making decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in his way? You'll just get it from someone else. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Nergoff's left you for that for a reason. Why don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Cabbage. You don't know the first thing about Darkoff. Darkoff Dark and what he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with the fucking show. My baby bombs, it's all your fault. What a psycho. I agree. Microphone goes center stage. I see that. I see that's not right. Yeah, I think I did it right. I, hopefully, if anything, I got the. Um, if anything's wrong, it's I mixed up the bass and the uh, guitar. Well, that's about as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Please, 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 please be right. Please be right. Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. Well, what do we have here? I'm going to put this away. We get in a lot of trouble. Found, someone found a bag of heroin on the floor during the concert. Please be right. Please be right. Damn fine work. It's so rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's the hundred I promised you. You earned every penny of it. Sweet. Yeah, she did stop by. Really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Yeah, you already got it. That crazy junkie nearly took my head off with her bag of smack. You sure you don't want me to hold all of that stuff for you? I can get rid of it like you, if you like. It'll, I'll be okay. Seriously, I appreciate the concern, though. I was going to come across it again sooner or later. Well, I guess I got to go get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in working coat check. We're short-staffed and could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Cabbage, you're a good friend. Sweet, almost there. I'm like, all right. So now I need to. I'm gonna go help. Um, help out in the apartment. Uh, what do I do? Okay. I hate that I can't run inside though. That kind of stinks. I think I'm going to help help her out. I'm still going to knock on the door. Who could that be? Oh, who's there? It's me, cabbage. Oh, come on in. 
Hey, Mrs. Tebber uh, Lager. I'm here to help clean up. Oh, you're a little late for that, Cabbage. It's all right, though. I managed to get it all done myself. Shit. Still, I'm very glad you came. You're such a good kid. Well, then, I guess you don't need me, then? I was just about to sit down to dinner. Would you care to join me? Hmm. I was thinking of going to work coat check down at the club. I'm pretty hungry, though. I've got to go, unfortunately. No time to skip out on work, I'm afraid. I think I'll have to pass, unfortunately. That's quite all right. I understand. Take care, Cabbage. Well, alrighty then. I'm going to save it. Right there. File 2. And I'm going to actually call it there. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. Uh, leave your feedback as well. This is already looking like a pretty good game. It looks like it's a Choices Matter game, which is even better. So, hopefully... Um, I make the right choices, but if not, oh well, there's always a replay. So, thank you all again, and I will see all of you next time. Bye.